Hey gang, now we're going to give you a quick tutorial of the quick start version of our templates. First thing you need to do is you need to upload the full package to your server. What you need to do is download the zip file called quick start, unzip that file and take the contents and upload it to your server via an FTP program. You can find video tutorials on most of the FTP programs on our website under support. So now that we've got it installed, you're looking at what you're going to see when you go to your website after you upload all the files. This is the Joomla installer. The first thing you're going to want to do is select your language. Today we're going to be selecting English because we're here in the United States. So I'm going to say next. And this is the pre-installation check. You want to make sure all of this is green. If one is no, then you need to take the correct actions to fix it. So we see all is good, so we're going to go here and go next. Here's the public license. This is all about the Joomla license. So we're going to go next. And now we're going to do the connection settings. So here we have our basic settings. So this is for your database. And what you're going to need to do is go to your cPanel of your host. Or if you don't have a cPanel, contact your hosting company about how to set up a new database. You need to set up a new database with a new username a password and a database name and you need to assign that user to that database. So right now we've already got our database set up so we're gonna go ahead and install. So we've got our host name, it's usually localhost, so we're gonna leave this local ho localhost, our username, our password, and our database name. And since it's a brand new installation uh, we don't really have to worry about the old database that's there, but just in case you're doing this over something, you want to back up the old database, uh, you can leave it back up or hit remove. I'm just going to leave it as default backup and go next. Okay, next screen you're going to get is the FTP configuration. As you see, this is optional. Um, we don't suggest using the FTP layer because there are, are some problems that we've encountered with it in the past, but if you're willing to turn it on and set everything up and debug any problems you might have, you can go ahead and do that, but we suggest you just skip this. So we're going to hit next. Now here's the basic settings. So we have our site name, so we're going to call this Demo Quick Start. That's our site name. And now we're going to go over here to the email, and I'm going to put an email in. Now my admin is going to be admin, and my admin password, set that up, and we're going to confirm the admin password. And now here's the imp very important part. We have the sample data. So we're going to install it in English. And this is the sample data for the quick start version. So I press this button and all the sample data is installed. That includes all of the extensions and the content. So I'm going to go ahead and go next. And now Joomla is installed. So you can either go into your website via FTP and rename your installation folder to maybe installation underscore backup if you're considering reinstalling but if you just want to go ahead and remove that installation folder right away, you can just click Remove Installation Folder. Okay, so now that the installation folder is removed, let's go over here to the site and see that we have Responsive fully installed with all of the demo content. Now what you want to do to get to your administrator is just put your path in there and type in Administrator, hit Return, and there's your admin login. So I hope this has been helpful and gives you a little insight on how to install a quick start version of Joomla.